Oh, hi there, big boys, and welcome to Atomic Heist. This is a roguelike game. Got some decently nice looking graphics here. Press E to let power up. Okie dokie, will do. That's your ship's hard. Cool. Uh, well, first thing I'm going to point out is that the game doesn't technically have gamepad support, but I just tried to move the analog stick and it did work. But it didn't. Nothing else worked. So that's interesting. I assume that's the unity defaults of the axes. Uh, axes? Ax axi? Don't know. But anyway. Let's give this game a go. It's got some really weird sort of crackling audio. I'm not sure if that's by design or what. Well, it's quite meaty. Look at that. Good. This sound pretty good. That's cool. Oh, you can also just hold down left click. That's easier. Definitely done some voice modulation there. Um, not voice. Um, pitch modulation. I can tell. All right, you can shoot stuff. Very fun. Everyone likes to shoot stuff. Uh, yeah, I think that's widely agreed upon. Cool. You can kill the enemies. It doesn't really feel that good to actually kill the men. I'm not gonna lie. Alright, yep, yeah, ammo types and stuff. Cool, that's a cool ammo type. Oh, okay, careful there. Yeah, it doesn't feel too good to play this in general, honestly. The physics are the physics are quite nice. Look, as you move stuff around, it's quite nice, like that. But, um, yeah. So it's not the best so far, but, um, maybe it'll get more interesting. But I've got a feeling maybe it will not. It seems quite competitive, simple so far. Not too difficult either. There are difficulty settings, I noticed, so that's good. I'm glad the game supports that. But I guess it's a tutorial still. Yeah, we're gonna keep killing people, I guess. The game does support achievements. That's good, isn't it? Not a glitchy wall cell, that's a shortcut. Okay. We've got a new upgrade unlocked. What does that mean? How do we use it? Uh, oh. Change time pressing A or D. Okay. Oh, nothing. Okay, I guess it means we can go unlock that, but we can't. Uh, we haven't actually currently got it unlocked, but we can go get it, even though it just said up block. But whatever, you know what I mean. You will get the idea. You've got to unlock it per uh, game rather than. Oh, low health, watch out, lads. Rather than per thingy. I'm bored. Um, yeah, this game's doing nothing to me so far. It's kind of just. It's a bit mare, isn't it? I mean, it's okay. It's not bad. It functions fine. It doesn't seem to be glit glit glitchy or anything like that, which is obviously the big issue that plagues most. Uh, bad games, but it's just not particularly interesting either. It just doesn't really feel like I'm. Doesn't feel like I'm having fun. Doesn't feel like I'm doing anything interesting. Um, yeah, it just feels a bit like I'm a bit bored. That's all I'm feeling. A bit bored. Yeah. This gun's quite fun. I like this gun. The effects and stuff quite nice. Yeah, I just think it needs it needs a hook. You know, there's no hook really, other than just uh, nothing really. Um, Maybe it's cheap. I mean, it's only two pounds, I think it said, which is quite cheap. But I feel like most roguelike games tend to be quite cheap, and I'd probably rather prefer off to playing one of the good ones, one of the really good ones, shall I say? Because it isn't a bad one. Oh, that's a boss fight, is it? Whoa, whoa, that killed me quick. Watch out, Daddy. Okay then, we'll try again. Oh, we did twenty percent of the levels. That's that was quite a lot of the levels, considering it only took me about three minutes. Does that mean? Okay, let's see the calculation. Three minutes. So that's uh, that's nearly 25%. So let's pretend it's 25%. So that is 12 minutes to beat the game. So you get probably 15 minutes to beat the game. Maybe. I mean, obviously not up really, because the rogue like you're probably gonna die a lot. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, you can change certain things on and off. That's cool. That's a cool little. There you go. See, focus more on that. Focus more on stuff like that. Maybe like turn the lights off and they can't see you. Stuff like that. Oh God. Yeah, that is the kind of thing that we want. That's the kind of thing that actually is interesting and not just... What is this? New avatar unlock, that's cool. I'm very proud of myself, unlocking new avatar. Yeah, I feel like I might end this video in a minute. Cause, I mean, oftentimes, I find if I'm if I'm forcing myself to play a game, then I'm not going to do very good commentary and it's not going to be very interesting to watch. And I'm just going to die a lot, so might as well just not watch me, really. I don't like this, this obstacle that keeps getting in the way of everything, a little weird sort of floating barrier thing. Very annoying. Very, very annoying. Alright, we're just going to speed run this. We're just going to run for it and not even try and do anything. Just, oh, leveled up. Not sure that means, but we leveled up, so that's nice. We've got any upgrades yet, I wonder. Let's have a look in a sec. The presentation's not even that, not too bad, honestly. It's all, it's all fine. It's all absolutely fine. Just that is exactly... How I would describe the game is that it's fine. There's nothing exciting about it. It's very mere and generic, really. Yeah, we'll end the video there. So, I don't know. Not really for me, I don't think. I was saying that. Did I get to the same 
stage? No, I didn't. Surely not. Mm. Okay, whatever. Anyway, yep, yeah, that is, uh, what is, what is it called? Comic Heist. Not really sure why it's called that. Maybe I should have done the tutorial. Maybe there's like a massive mechan mechanic I'm missing here. So you've only, you've only got the one power up so far. Oh, I've got uh, more ships, have we? That's more, more guns, I think. Oh yeah, here we go. 50% arrow, universal units, radar. I don't know what that means. Okay, well there you go, that's something interesting. Okay, and you can change your avatar to this sort of a meta thing going on. That's cool. Uh, different avatars and records. Yeah, reticle. Oh, so you can change the colour of the reticle. Okay, that's a nice mechanic. I like that. That's cool. Nice little thing there. You can change that if you want. Yeah, why not? Why not? That's quite cool looking. Yeah, anyway, that's an okay game. It's fine. It's very much absolutely fine. Uh, read the core. Yeah. Okay, will do. Yeah, I just don't think there's anything else to say about it, really, other than it's just absolutely fine. But there you go. If you want to play this game, you can get it on Steam. I um, don't think it's on any consoles or anything, so you may be limited to Steam on this case. So, uh, hope you've got a PC or a Steam Deck. Which is a PC, I guess. You know what I mean. Anyway, thanks for watching, boys. Well, I guess no one's got a Steam Deck. Oh, it doesn't matter. Thanks for watching, boys. It's an important time, and bye.